Okay, we're going to cut Lucky's toenails. Now, Lucky has a pink or clear toenails, so it's pretty apparent where the nerve stops and the dead nail, the nail that doesn't have any blood supply or nerve is, it's really apparent. So what we're trying to do on every dog is we're trying to cut the nail short enough where you can see the nerve, but you're not making it bleed. And the nail trimmer I'm going to use, this is called a Doggy Man. It doesn't matter what brand. I like the plier style and the heavier duty one. On a bigger dog, I would use the bigger pliers. I also should have my quick stop sitting out before I start. So I have my quick stop which is a yellow powder, sold under different brands. I don't recommend the liquid. I don't think it works. So I have the quick stop ready in case a nail bleeds. It's not a big deal if a nail bleeds. It isn't like a human nail bleeding because the construction of the nail. Dogs can wear the nail down to where they bleed. They can break them off, which is really uncomfortable. But just keep in mind, if a nail bleeds, it's not a big deal. Most dogs will forgive you. Some dogs are super sensitive. Most dogs aren't. They react more to the stuff that stops the blood than the cutting oftentimes, because that could sting a little bit. So, again, we know where the end of the nail is. He doesn't need a lot off. So, I just took the tip off, and I think you can see the pink fleshy part. Looks like it's just wanting to bleed, maybe not quite, so I won't take quite as much on the others. You'll notice that I don't go uh, really slow. See how that would annoy him? He's already pulling. I decide where I'm going to cut and snap quick. Snap, snap. Because it's slow torture if you sit there and squeeze it. And people, when they're learning, always do that. But you see where it is. Snap, 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 snap. You can always go back and take more off. If they start to bleed, which this one's barely starting to ooze, you, you see that he barely even noticed. You can dip it in the quick stop. Or if you're doing your dog at home, you can just let it go. It's not the end of the world. If he had black nails, and I will do a tape on doing black nails. I would take a small amount off the tip. You can also tell from the side of an uncut nail how close you're getting to that. Usually there's more of a hook on the part that has no nerve. It depends on the nail. They're all different. But I will show you on black nails at a later time. Again, Lucky is constrained, restrained, not constrained. Not super tight, but he doesn't have all the room in the world to get his head in my way. So this is important. Restraint is important, especially in a grooming shop, because if the dog tried to bite you, this would help stop him. If I'm out here, also when you're doing a strange dog or you're not sure what your dog's going to do, I would stretch the leg out as far from the mouth as possible. So they just can't bite you or if you're worried about it just muzzle them better not to get bitten better not for the dog to experience biting you because it's frightening for the dog believe it or not dogs that bite are usually biting out of fear and if they are allowed to bite then it actually makes them more fearful